learn in this video number 1 how to reduce lead time number 2 why and how to reduce wip number 3 how to standardize wip and begin vendor managed inventory number 4 how to achieve all this with zero investment the main aim of today's video is to teach how to reduce the lead time did you know lead time and wip are directly proportional it is given by the little's law production rate alteration is tough but reducing wip is totally in our hands let's follow this simple technique and teach you how to exactly reduce this wip in totally demonstrative manner this technique is so simple that most companies fail to realize it this is the typical situation on the game bar machine a and machine b once the material from machine b has been processed it moves to the out trolley of b and the material from the in trolley moves into the machine the empty trolley then proceeds for a refill once material from machine a has been processed it goes to the out trolley of machine a and the material from the in trolley similarly goes into machine a for the processing the out trolley moves to the wip section and the empty trolley from b now replaces the material that has been processed by a and has been waiting in the wip section now comes to the input of machine b this is how the situation looks like it's been filled with trolleys wow we just saw the typical situation on the gamba filled with trolleys here trolleys are the wip wip can be in the form of pallet containers trays trolleys stack of papers anything in between the process that is waiting waiting to be processed we need to find a way to eliminate this wip to reduce the lead time and how to reduce this wip will show you in the next demonstration the output of machine b goes to the out trolley and the input goes into machine b for processing now what do we do with this wip come trolley we simply eliminate it from the system and place it in the trolley graveyard we restrict the number of trolleys now the output of machine a goes to the out trolley and the new material is inserted in a for processing one set of trolley goes into the in of machine b and if you see the number of wip trolleys has reduced from 4 to 3 Wow and this cycle of elimination would continue to give you drastic reduction in the lead time to tell you just the reduction in one trolley will give you the result of reduction in lead time by 20% mind you that's a huge time we learnt how to reduce the inventory but in case the suppliers and the customers are at very far locations it is not advisable to reduce the inventory to zero so what do we do in this case we adopt an approach of standardized inventory and this standardized way of working has turned out to be very successful for many suppliers and customers let's suppose the supplier and the customer are very far from each other and we standardize the number of inventory to 4 so now the empty container on the customer side will act as a kanban it would provide a signal to the supplier when to provide the material so this whole system is simply demand driven 
and in industry we generally call it as or know it by the term vendor managed inventory let's summarize what we have learned in the video today number 1 to reduce the lead time we need to eliminate or reduce the wip wip also known as work in progress or the waiting in the process number 2 if we cannot eliminate the wip then we standardize it also called as constant wip or standard wip number 3 this demand driven system can be created without incurring any extra cost